The coils are now welded together to form a continuous strip weighing up to 30,000 pounds. The strip passes through a pickling bath of diluted sulfuric acid, which cleans the surface of the steel. After additional cold rolling, the steel is coiled and cut into sheets. The blooms, which we saw earlier, are converted into bar stock. A giant billet transfer table feeds the blooms to billet mills and merchant mills. A mighty squeezing process turns out flat bars for auto springs. How do the bodybuilders go about the task of making hundreds of thousands of door panels all exactly alike? The answer is here. The sheets are stamped on gigantic die presses, which have foundations that go all the way down to bedrock. The metal is squeezed between two matching dies, which have been shaped to the contours they now reproduce. A plaster model of a door panel must be reproduced in steel. The die makers literally carve it out of a massive casting. The white markings indicate areas where large amounts of metal must be cut away. Perhaps you've seen an artist using a pantograph. By tracing the original here, a duplicate drawing is produced here. The same principle is used by a profiling machine in the die shop. At the top of the machine, a tracing head moves slowly over the three-dimensional surface of the plaster model. And a cutting head faithfully follows the pattern to form the same contours in steel. The die produced by the profiling machine is moved to another area for grinding and hand finishing. The entire body shell is produced by die stamping more than 400 parts. Some intricate shapes are produced in a series of operations. To make a wheel housing, the stamping is trimmed and cut in half. Two sections are welded together. Caudet, 30 años de experiencia, calidad y confianza en la fabricación de telas vinílicas para tapicería de hogar, automotriz, calzado, náutica y autos de época. 